But anyway, so like people were talking about, I had like a couple people talking about this thing. Go so on, I'm go like, on, go on. When I've looked at the artwork, Tony, yeah. I'm like, this is not for me. And I'm not even watching it. I'm actually just not even watching what it. What artwork did they give you? Because uh, you know Netflix gives you different artworks according to who you're, who's watching. It was like a oh, drawing. I thought they just change it. They're, no, 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 no. They give it to different people. So oh, I get so sometimes there's man, a film, there's it. one black character in it, and they get shown for like two seconds. But in the artwork, it'll show me the black character. So I'm like, oh, it's a black <laughs> film. So I go watch it. It's the algorithms. Oh, for because real? the clocks that like, you watch black films. Fuck. So they give you the black. So they, so they give you it. the black. Like, oh, here's this. But Yo, literally, you find the actor intense. was there for like two minutes. That is, rage. and that was it. But that's what you get, and you end up watching it. So the black, ma- the black don could be the cleaner. And yeah, they just showed that scene. Cover. They showed that scene. Like, oh, you like the blacks? Cool. Here's this sort of thing. Fuck but, it, yeah. Man. Anyway. Oh wow. But um, yeah, they this the artwork was the was like it was a drawing basically, and it said love is blind, love and I said blind. there's no way. I said to myself. This is like uh, I thought that it was gonna be like a um, like a drama. Mm, mm, I thought it was gonna be one of them. Mm. And then so I was on my way back from Liverpool, and I don't know what went got into me. I don't know whether it was the Peer most pressure. high uh, Peer pressure. No, nah, because not even it. that much people was watching it at that at time. That it was time just a I couple of people that was that yeah. had mentioned it, but no one had said, "Oh, like watch it." I just saw it come up, like or like hashtag Love Is Blind, but I just didn't really read yeah. or pay too much attention to it. When I press play. I'm not going to lie to you, yeah. I knew straight away I'm going to watch this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I knew straight away I was going to watch it. So, wait, firstly, yeah, before we even get into it, how did you even come across it in the first place? Okay, so like I said, I watch a lot of Netflix and I watch a lot of TV. So there's a show I was watching before called Dating Around. What's that like? That's Netflix as well. It's just showing people on dates. Oh, okay. It's actually really interesting as well. By the way, you can sit back. It's called. Can I? Because I keep thinking I'm like, okay. Yeah, no, right, okay, cool. Yeah, so it's called. So Netflix just recommended it. And I've clocked that most times when they recommend things, I like it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and I think I've seen a friend tweet it as well. So I was like, let me watch it. Because I was I'd stopped watching Love Island. Yeah. It didn't feel nice anymore. Yeah, so did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, like, Do you know it what just, I hate when it starts getting to the I love you bit. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was just like, oh, this I is, it didn't shit. feel nice anymore. I didn't enjoy it no more. So I was like, I'm not watching Love Island anymore. bad. Yeah. It is bad that, like. <laughs> when it gets to the lovey dovey bit, we're like, when yeah. When everyone's in their couples and they're happy and that, we're like, <laughs> no, fuck no, that shit. This is dead. I'd love to see how, like, their stats actually. From like when the pass is on to when everyone's. I think it must love. go down. It has to. Because you just don't care anymore. You're not missing anything anymore. It doesn't matter. And this one was like, it was, yeah, it just got dead. But yeah. go on anyway. So I went to watch it and I was just, literally the first episode, I was hooked, like hooked. One time I went out and I got in at probably about three o'clock in the morning. And I still put it on. I said, no. oh my I God, said, I, the same I thing. need to know what's next. I did the same thing. Like, I'm obsessed with it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is for me probably the best shittest TV <laughs> that I've watched in a hell of a long time. It's so, it's like, it's really bad, but really good. Yeah. It's really bad. But like, sometimes I feel like, even when I'm telling people about it, I feel like I shouldn't even tell you about this. Like, you feel like they're going to judge your intelligence. Yeah. But I've seen so many people that I rate highly talk about, when Mallory Blackman tweeted about it, I said, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I feel no guilt. I can watch this all I want. Someone's a legend. And she's enjoying it. I don't care. I'm going to enjoy it too. But yeah, basically, yeah, it's a game where they've got, um, 30 men and women. So it's 15 guys, 15 girls, yeah. Mm. It seems like they're living in a separate part of a house, mm. yeah. And they are blind dating, isn't it? Really? Yeah, basically. Yeah, they're basically blind dating. Yeah. And at first, when they're in there, they're in there with... Um, notepads. Like, so <laughs> people, but I understood I why they was in there with notepads, notepads yeah. though, because obviously you don't know, like... You meet so many different people as well. You don't know... You can't keep yeah, hold of their story sort of thing. I must have doing it to dates. So yeah, it was like, it's a, a, essentially, it's a blind date thing, yeah? And then, after that, like this, okay, do you know what it is? I'm not going to tell you the punchline just yet for people who ain't seen it yet because it sounds stupid. So let me just get to the have the bits that seem reasonable yeah. before the stupidity. Okay, so right, boom. After the blind dates, you connect with somebody, whatever it is, mm-hmm. and then you get to meet them. And then yeah. after you, I'm just saying it in a nutshell and then we'll just unpack it properly. Yeah. Then after you get to meet them, then you go on a holiday together. Yeah. yeah. Then you end up living with each other yeah. for a little while. You meet each other's parents and stuff like that. But you, then- No, you've missed that. Are you saying the non-insane bits first? Yes. You? Okay, okay. Yeah. So you do all of that stuff, yeah. but- But, okay. <laughs> yeah. When you're in the pod, uh-huh. talking to somebody, when you connect with them, you have to propose. If 
you want to. If you feel like you want to marry this person. Because remember, there was probably about like 13 girls and 13 guys. I can't remember what the exact amount was. That's true. And not all of them actually met someone. That's that they, true. That they liked sort of thing. So what it was, was so you talked for a little while. I think within the first couple of episodes, people were exchanging I love yous. Oh my God. That was what was Wait, mad to what? me. Yeah. Really? Literally. No, no, for real. Like, I think the first episode, someone said I love you. I think I love you. Yeah. How? How? Because How? How? they're in these pods, right? And no, all they're doing is talking to this person. They don't get to see them. For how long? How we, long are they chatting? We don't like know, actually. Hours, That's I assume. Thing, I we can see hours, yeah. hours and hours. So they really get to know someone. They ask them all the in-depth questions. Love. But yeah, honestly, within the first couple of days, people were like, I love you. Day five, people are proposing to each other. Do you think you could be like... Rah. Yeah. Do you think you could do that? Not the proposing bit, yeah, but see like the blind date element of it and like speaking to someone for months. I remember, listen, go on. Could you do it first? Could I what? Fall Have in love? Have you done it anyway in life? No, you always, it's not possible. Like, unless we're pen pals. It's not possible now, is it? It's not, it's literally, I have to meet you somewhere and then. How were they done before? I guess friend of a friend. Like your friend's you like, oh, you I've know, met someone who'd be it's great. It's impossible yeah, yeah, yeah. to do like it, it now. still happen now. It's impossible to do it now because of phones and shit. I have to, if someone says they want to introduce me to someone, the first thing I'm asking for is a picture. Yeah, true. That is the first thing. Really? They can say, because sometimes when they don't say the picture, you know why. They're like, oh, he's really nice. He's got a good job. He's got... What does he look like? I don't have a picture, but what's <laughs> yeah, but he's really no, 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 no. What does he look on. like? Yeah, what does he look Something like? Wrong. What does he look like? Because yeah. everyone's got a picture. WhatsApp, Instagram. There's always a picture somewhere. Hey, I come from a day where boy, man didn't have like when we was younger, we didn't have picture phones and that. I remember I got I was I found myself in a situation when I was a young buck boy. I, what MSN days? Yeah. Oh, so like I don't know how I ended up speaking to this girl. I think it was through radio. Back in the day, yeah, when you yeah. was on pirate radio, sometimes people would ring up and say, oh, shout out to so-and-so oh, yeah, from yeah, such-and-such yeah. and such or whatever. So then I think, like, I was just being hungry and I ended up, like, chatting to this girl over the phone and then, like, we just kept chatting. Then I just mm. gave her my number. Then we was chatting for... Mu- like, when I tell you, I was going to the shop and getting credit to chat to this girl. And you never like, met her? I'd never met her before. Let me tell you the joke. <laughs> Let me tell you the joke. One day I'm speaking to her on the phone, yeah, and I'm hearing bare people bibbing this girl. And I'm like, I said to her, are, these, are those people bibbing you? And she was like, yeah. I'm thinking, blood cut, this girl's got she a big <laughs> No, she, was, she, wouldn't, she didn't drive. But I'm thinking, if she's walking down the street, a man are bibbing I, this girl, I, I, yeah, I. she's got to be a buffers. But what if she was lying? I didn't, that did not cross my mind. I'm just thinking in my <laughs> head, yeah. It might be If she's walking down the street and man, are, it wasn't just one. It was like a couple. It was like people were bibbing and that. And I'm like, well, okay. Like she's got, so I'm sold. Now How I'm sold. nice is the girl that's talking to someone days and end that she's never met before? Do you know what? In hindsight now, and in this day and age now, it sounds mad. Yeah. But at the time, it wasn't even mad. Right, okay. So then like, anyway, I said to her, boom, I had the whole day planned out. Can we go sit? We're going to go sit in the mall. We're going to do this and that, <laughs> whatever. She's just like, cool. So I said, you know what? Meet me at like the station, at such and such station or whatever. She's just like, cool. So anyway... I've gone to the station now. She's gone. She's got to the station. My mum's still at home. I'm thinking to myself, mum, like you, like just what, like go to work, isn't it? <laughs> so anyway, I've gone to the station, yeah, and I'm looking around, but I can't see anyone. Right. Okay. I can see people, but, but I can't not, see anyone. Not anyone. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So anyway, I've rang her and I'm like, yo, like where are you? And she's like, oh yeah, I'm by the bus stop. So I'm looking at the bus stop and I'm like, rah, like I can see people, but I can't see anyone. I can't see this girl. I can't see the girl that no, man are yeah, 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 yeah exactly. not her. So anyway, I've called her again and I'm like, I can't even see you. And then she was like, oh, okay, I'm just going to step out into the road. Oh, she goes, I can see you. I'm going to step out. She so stepped out. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I don't understand what you thought was going to happen. Oh. Who did you think was going to step out? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. However, but this according thing, to your eyes, what was it saying? Oh, what? mate. You know what? Okay, first, I'm not body shaming, all right? But, but you're I'm about saving. to. You have a type. No, I'm not. It's not even that I have oh, a type. Okay, I tried to save you. Because I, like, I like it's big gonna women. Body shame. That's what big women yeah. is, uh, like, I find some big women attractive. But she was borderline ready to die. 
I'm being honest with you. Stop, because I don't want to laugh. Stop, stop, she, stop. she was borderline stop. ready. This was heart attack stop. central. No, I'm not laughing. Like, we no. could have, we could have, we could have went laughing. for a jog. We're not we could have went for a jog and no. it could have been the hospital that night. No. I'm not even joking. No. It was like that. It was, no. like, it was, it was unreasonable. No, unreasonable. And you know what? It, not, only was it unreasonable, <laughs> not only was it unreasonable, but it was like, Obviously, at this time, like now, I think about things very differently. There could have been social pressures. There could have been like certain things that happened with your family and like obviously hereditary stuff and whatnot. But as a young buck, I'm not thinking that. Just thinking. I'm just thinking I've been set up. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're walking to my house now. And I'm thinking, I hope my mum. Oh, mom... you still got that far? What, what, what was I supposed to do? What are you going to do? do? Okay, fair. So boom, I've got to my <laughs> yard now. Imagine he said no home. Then what would you say? <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's true. I've got her to my yard and then my mum's still there. And like... Amen. My mum is like one of them people who's... She gets... She's such a... She's a lovely woman yeah. in here. So like... She was cool, but I could see in her head that she was thinking, <laughs> nah. My son's better than this. He's definitely... He's definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's his mate. It has to be his mate. She's coming to my she's come to my room. She's laid on my bed, taking up the whole bed and all of that. And Dang. I'm thinking, we need to get out of here. Stop. So anyway, we still gone cinema. Sitting in the cinema, this girl's trying to lips me. I ended up going to the um, toilet and I've rang my Don and I'm like, bro, you remember the girl I was telling you about X, Y, and Z, whatever? I've told him what not. And I'm like, what shall I do? Shall I, like, shall I bounce? Mm-mm-mm. Like, shall I just leave her in the cinema? Please tell me you bounced. Did you bounce? bounce. No. You pig. <laughs> what did you do? I didn't bounce. I didn't bounce. What did you do? What did I do? Yeah. We left the cinema. Okay. And then we got jumped on the bus. It was a 95 bus. Hot. And then you know what? Once I got off the bus, we just never spoke ever again. And I know that's bad, but I just never answered the phone ever again. To this <laughs> day, I just never answered it. it. Happens. But yeah, so in this, like... Now these type of we speak from a place of privilege now. It's impossible for it to happen now, per se. Unless you purposely said you don't want to see mm. what this person looks like. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. the only way it's possible to happen. Like that can't accidentally happen now. Happen. Before you go on a date, not only do you know what they look like, you know where they work, you know who their friends are, you've done all of that before you've actually gone on the first date. Mm. So it's impossible to not know. But that amount of intense, I think I could fall for someone. I think so. I actually think I could be like, wow, I think I like this person, you know. Mm. But love within the first day. It wouldn't be love. Because I think as soon as we get outside, yeah, it would feel like love. But as soon as we get to the real world, I'm like, yeah, nah. Because things are starting to happen. But in that space, it was just them and that person. Mm. There was no telly, there was no entertainment. And it was very cosy. Yeah, all you got to do was talk to this person day and night. I yeah, can, I can. I can imagine. And it was bare cozy. Yeah. I could easily see how you would. Like, I know. I know. From I know, I'm gonna fall. For, I know I'm gonna like someone. Yeah. There was one Don in there who ended up having like bare girls liked him. His name was Burnett, in it. Yeah. yeah. And like bare, he just started having. He just started having. It seemed like he had all of them. He just had literally at one, minute, one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At one point, he had all of them. Yeah. He just I th- maybe it's, he had a different level of source compared to the rest of the other guys that was there that they liked because he had like a. He was he like was a that, Jack like, the Lad Yeah, kinda yeah. Do you know that cheeky. football? Um, what do Americans call it? Like fat boy. He's yeah. used to getting girls, so he knows how to talk to women. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. he like he had that presence. But what I think is, because they're in pods, like I was saying to you when we were talking, you can say whatever you want because you're not seeing that person's reaction to you. So you're going to be a lot more open than you would in a date. The same when you're on the phone, you probably say a lot more than when you're face to face because you can't see their reaction to you. Yeah, it's true. So if we're talking in pods and I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I've had like four trains run on me. I can't see your reaction. So I'm just going to keep talking. <laughs> like, but if face to face and you said it and you're like, wow, yeah, yeah. instantly I'll stop talking. Yeah, no, I hear that. Also, it's like, you can't have the moment, like when you're together, you can have those moments where it's just silence in it because you're just whatever. Yeah. You just carry on eating, whatever it is in it. But, but you, you have to talk. Yeah. I think I could fall. I think it, like you're right, it would feel like love. Yeah, hundred percent. I think it would feel like love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, surely you must have had that when you've met someone and felt like, in hindsight, you know that it wasn't love in it. But in the moments, it's felt like that. I've been in that. I've, I've been in that. Life. Yeah, I've been in that. I've been in that. Like I, sometimes, be, I'm not gonna lie. At certain points, I was falling a bit too quick. At a time. How quick are we talking? Like, I would like, a, like I can, yeah, I could like a girl 
I could like a girl pretty quickly. I can't lie to you. Really? Because mm. I always thought if they moved back to London, like if Love is Blind happened in London with Black Brit Myth. Well, let me tell you this now. <laughs> myth. They've actually talking about doing a UK version would of it. Would you do it? it? Yeah. Would I do it? I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, do you know what? I wouldn't do the TV version. I'm not going to be on no TV. Yeah, yeah. I would do it if that. it didn't get filmed. Yeah, if it didn't get filmed, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd have a go. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. have a go and see what it's Just like. Just to see yeah, if yeah. they're mad or if it's possible to fall in love. Yeah. But anyway, one of the reasons why this was, I thought it was good though, is because I felt like each couple that eventually ended up being a couple all had a storyline. Mm. And they were all like different storylines. So, yeah. for example, one of the storylines was Colton and Diamond. Yeah. Yeah. We have to talk about that. Colton, black brother. He was wrong in every level. Beard, bald guy. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what he said he did for a living. Um, Diamond, was she a dancer or something? Yeah, like she's a dancer, yeah. Yeah, she was a dancer or whatever. And they got on really well, yeah. Then, Until. And then he proposed to her or whatever. I'm going to be honest with you. When I saw, when I heard um, Colton talking, I did think right. Don sounds tiny bit feminine okay. kind of vibe. Okay. Mm-hmm. I thought well, he that. he said it early on. He said he was bisexual early on. Did he? Yeah. Oh yeah, of course he did. On the, so, yeah, he yeah, did. yeah, he was like, he's had a relationship. But what he I didn't, didn't her, like though. about what he said was, he said he's had a relationship with both men and women, but he wants to marry a woman because they're more... They'll they'll care for him more. Like they were they're more like maternal and like I didn't like that. Why? Because it sounded like the only reason why he went to be with a woman was because he knew he'll be looked after. Mm-hmm. Well, it depends on what type of looked after he's talking about because that changes the context of everything. Because mm-hmm. if you're looking talking about the looking after of like what a social norm is with a woman being in the kitchen and all of that, that's just that's still equally as mad. I but think if that's you're talking what he about. Meant. Okay, because like, if that's what he meant, then that's dangerous because that means that every once in a while, he's not like, he's contradicting himself because at first he was talking about, it's not about the the the, um, the look of a person, it's their inside. So yeah, he's not yeah, attracted yeah. to that, he's yeah. attracted to this. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. But if he's saying that, but what he really meant was, is he just wants a person to essentially, you know, do the social norm thing. Yeah. He's definitely going to cheat and get some dick. He's going to cheat. He's likely. He's definitely going to cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, because he tried to make it out as if to say, oh, it's just, I've just been with men. But when he admitted it to her, he was crying. And I was like, this is a bigger deal to you than what you think it is. Mm. Like, it's not just a casual, oh, I've had relationships with men. I'm not going to be that bothered. Like, you, you've got a lot built up there. Definitely. Sort of thing. And he wanted her to be homophobic so badly. Bad, yeah. He was gagging for her to say something. So he can be like, that's right, you're a bitch. And even in the argument, he was contradicting himself, saving his hands. One minute he was like, I'm scared to tell people because people have reacted badly. And he was like, you're the only one that's ever reacted badly to this. It's like, sir, like, yeah, what yeah, yeah. one is it? And then he cussed her wig. I know. Which? <laughs> he cussed her wig. He, he took said, it bad. He took it bad. He took it so bad. But at this point, she hadn't said anything wrong. She just said, why didn't you tell me? Yeah. Which is a plausible question. Why didn't you tell me? Just for extra context, yeah. What had happened was they'd paired up together. He'd proposed to her, whatever. And then now they're at the part where they're on holiday in Mexico or whatnot. And straight away, it was like, I don't want to say odd, yeah, but when he sat in the chair eating the stra- strawberry, talking about okay, daddy and that, I just thought, something just is, <laughs> just there's something away. different about it. I don't know what's happening, but it seems like, like, what is he trying to do? Like, it was almost like there was a part of him that wanted him, he wanted to push her away or keep yeah, her at yeah, some yeah, type yeah. of yeah. distance mm. or whatever. Because he was sitting there eating the strawberry, but his vibe was off. He didn't like her. Yeah. I, I honestly think that's what it was. I think, first, he didn't actually like the way she looked. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because if I you're going to bring up the wig thing... If you're going to bring up the wig, he was like, yeah. since day one, your wig has been leaning back. So that means, the, <laughs> that means the first time he set eyes on her, he noticed the lean back straight away. Yeah. He noticed it straight. Do you want us to notice that straight away? Yeah, I hear that. Like he noticed it straight away. And he really judged her to be the kind of woman that he thought she would be, she would be that black woman that's not mm. accepting and that's like, will use it to insult him. Mm. So he was already up like, oh, that's what she's going to do. She's going to use my sexuality to insult me. Yeah. 
And I, what is so, so ironic is that when he actually told her about it, yeah, she her face was like she seemed a bit she seemed a bit shocked. Yeah, which is fine, fine. But ultimately, oh yeah, he he took his hat off and he threw it, and then like that's when I thought the same thing that you felt. I felt like yeah, this is this is cutting deeper. Than what you're making out. Yes, yeah, of course. And it was the way that he was crying as well. It's like, it you know, sometimes... Like, it, was, <laughs> yeah, it was a cry. Yeah, he was bawling. It was, it, that was in that was him. Deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It that was, was deep. deep it was deep. Him. Yeah. And um, so the next morning now, when they're sitting by the pool and they're talking, I'm getting the vibe that she just wants to sit and have a conversation about it. Mm. And like, mm. if he's saying the right things, mm-hmm. she'd ride for him. That's what it seemed like. But he just... He, he was all over the place. He was on the defence straight away. Yeah, straight he away. He was on the defence straight away. One minute he's talking about... Um, no one's no one ever says anything about it. Then he's like, "But you would have judged me." And it's like all of these different things. And it was like, "Bro, your behavior now, yeah, the way that you're talking to her, yeah. If you stay together, if she actually stays with you after all of this, mm. I feel like this is gonna turn abusive." I actually felt like that. I did felt you? like I really did because it went from like him being upset, then for him being angry, then he chucked the ring. Oh, remember he chucked, he took his hat off took and threw it. Off, yeah. Then he chucked the ring. Then he called her a. He, then he, he mentioned a weave. He then he called bitch. her a bitch. Yeah. And if they don't even know each other. And she really hasn't said. He was arguing with her like it was a random girl he met in a club that called him out his name, mm. and he was just like, "Yeah, you dumb bitch." It's just like, sir, that was gonna be your wife. Yeah, man. When were you gonna tell her about the wig? But the the <laughs> the, the talking point on that is yeah, which I'd say there's a talking point in all of them. But the talking point is is that like. Do, just through having conversations with people that I knew as well, yeah? Yeah. Like, do people take bisexuality seriously? And do people pick and choose when they feel like it's okay? When it, when they feel like it's okay. So, for example... What do you like, mean take it seriously? So, what I mean by that is, is that, like, I feel that, as men, sometimes yeah. we don't necessarily take women seriously when they say that they are bisexual. Oh, yeah, you guys So, don't, for yeah. example, if a girl says that, oh, yeah, I'm kind of into it's girls, freaky, yeah, I feel like yeah. there's a part of us that's kind of like, well, yeah, so, so am I. So I get it. What? Because, because... Yeah, yeah, I'm just telling... I'm not saying every man. I'm just saying I feel like a, a it's freaky good percentage. It's freaky to you. It's sexy. Yeah, there's guys. like a... A lot of like guys, a, it's the, sexy a, to a well, I, having... I, I, Speaking for myself, no, that's not how I feel. Oh, really? That. Yeah. That's no. interesting because most men I know instantly is like, oh, I can that's join That's why him. I'm surprised because I didn't know that that was a general a like thing I, for guys. What do you think about it? If a girl said it, Bisexual. it's not sexy. It's just, oh, that's just your sexuality or whatever. Yeah, to be honest, I'm just interested in the thought process behind it. No, oh, okay. Okay. Gordon, so... Uh, yeah, that's probably not the best way to put it, but I'm just interested. Yeah. I think with that though, it's that like what you said, it's like the menage, you know, to like a man being with two women and stuff like that and whatnot. I think, however, when men, not all men, but when some men hear that a man is bisexual, more time they just go to the thing of he's just gay. Yeah. Do you you understand Mm, what I'm saying? So yeah, Yeah. he's, that's just his thing. Yeah. But then like, I asked a few people if you could, if I asked a few guys, if you met a girl and you liked her and she said, that she was into women as well, would it affect the way that you see her? What was their answer? Not really. But when I asked a couple of girls, yeah. if like if you'd met a guy yeah. and he'd said that he dated men yeah. and been in, in a or had been in a long relationship with yeah. men, had would it affect the way that you'd see him? And they all said yeah. Yeah. Cause it's so funny, because the first time this was a thought process for me was I mean, you don't watch much telly, but it's a show called Insecure. Okay, right, right, right. And it's brilliant, I think you'd actually really like it. And the, one of the girls was dating a guy. She found out that he that had relationships with men. And she was like, no, I can't. Like, she was, she was back and she's like, no, I'm not doing it. Like, I can't do it sort of thing. And if I'm completely honest, that was my standpoint. I'm like, no. Nah. Mm. Like, and also I had to ask my friends who were smarter than me. I've had like, a few friends, friends that are smarter me, than me <clears throat> and friends that are queer. Like, is this, am I a bad person for thinking this? Like, is this, is this me being homophobic? And they were like, it, Partly is quite deep rooted in homophobia mm. because the fear is that this man, I said this before, the fear is this man is going to leave you for another man. Yeah. If you're with a straight man, he can leave you for another girl. All right then. So why is that not a fear? So it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why is it the fear is if you're going to be fearful, you're going to be fearful, innit? You just hit, you've just literally broken down my whole theory in a in a simple way because I was thinking the same in my mind. I was thinking when I was looking at this situation. Yeah, there was a part of my deep if I'm being honest where yeah. there was this deep rooted thing within me that was like you know what I feel like this guy's gay yeah. and that he's like battling with 
like something in his mind. I thought or that as well. I, I, and I, I to that. myself, that's not on me to identify what he wants to identify as, but I thought that as well. Yeah. But then I also thought to myself, hold on a minute. Yeah. If he's saying, let's say he's telling the truth mm. that like he is into just not the physical aspect of it, but he's just, it's like fluid. It can be like, it could be anyone. It's a vibe yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. If he's telling the truth, what would then be the difference of him leaving her for a woman? Exactly. Like, or, like do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For a man, because it's like, it's a essentially, person it's a person, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. Or is it just a thing where it's like, it opens up the playing field? So, for example, how much women is there in the world? Let's say there's like, I don't know, however many million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, if you're into everyone, it's a billion. But the hurt is still the same. <laughs> you're not going to leave me for a billion girls. You're going to leave me for whoever you're going to leave me with. Yeah. The exactly. hurt is still going to be the exact same. So really, it's, it is, really, it shouldn't matter. Yeah. At all. Ultimately. But I haven't unlearned that yet. I'll be honest to myself. Like, I never even thought about it. Now, if if I was ever in that situation, I would be like, no, it's the same as me having other preferences. Yeah. But it's not. Because yeah. of what it's rooted in. It definitely. It's like, it's a long... It's years of conditioning. Isn't yep, it? and it's also rooted in that idea that I just think, oh, you're gay. Yeah, of course. Even and the reason like, no, why that is as well is because really, you got to think, it's only been the last few years. When you look at like how many years there have been in life, yeah. it's only really the last few years that like these conversations have been like proper. Absolutely, like, yeah. Like proper had. And, and like, do you know what it is? As a straight person, checking your privilege is really, I'm actually, I get really scared to have the conversation because I never want to offend because there is no hate or malice in my heart. So I don't want to offend, but I want to know. Definitely. So yeah. I've had to realize that I need to have these conversations privately, mm -hmm. work it out in my head before I say anything publicly. Yeah. Because it's like, I, I don't want to offend, but also I'm like, if this is a learning process for me, let me learn. Yeah. yeah but it's I'm really, really hard. Yeah, because it's, and it's the same thing, I guess, let's say if you put it the other way with like, let's say we're talking about black and white people. There were some white people that like, I want to learn, but we're like, no, nah. like you mm. say some shit, you're racist. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, there's blatant racism. There's, yeah, like, there's blatant. But there's, sometimes you have to check your privilege that like, oh, as a straight person, I've got privilege here sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. So let me check that and actually ask the right questions. Yeah. I was probably like, I don't think... When people were saying that, wait, actually, is it home fact? I was like, I don't, why is it? It's just a preference. It's a preference. And then when I asked her, she broke it down. And I was like, what? Well, because it's, it's interesting because at the same time, I feel like I'm, I'm a part of privilege where if a girl said to me that she had been in a relationship with a woman, yeah. that it wouldn't affect me in any type of way because the social norm, to a degree, is that, like, that is a fantasy. Yeah. So it's like, that's not really... It's not really that much of a conversation But again, me. But women are allowed fluidity and men are allowed numbers. Yeah, exactly. We're very much allowed to be fluid or, we like, lot girls, kiss girls, yeah, dance with girls. We're allowed to be fluid. We're allowed to try it out. Some of that is all in music and films and shit. Like yeah, that. because that's what to... straight girls, I said it as well, straight girls, that's what we were doing to try and be sexy for guys. We thought guys liked girls and girls <laughs> yeah, together. That's true. It's like when you go to clubs and you see girls that like whine in each other, it's for a man to look at. That's yeah. nuts as well. Imagine mm. putting your whole tongue into like someone's mouth. You don't even love them, but it's just to get some type of attention. Every girl you kissed, have you loved her? Every girl that I've kissed? Lips, yeah. Lips, definitely not. Okay, cool. Why do you ask that? Because she was like, it's mad to put your tongue in someone else's mouth if you, yeah, if you don't, love don't love them. It's lip Did I say love? Yeah. yeah. You did say Shit, love. You did say love, yeah. I meant like, I didn't even mean that. I meant like. All oh, right, okay, cool. Sorry, why did I say love? Love, that's why love is blind. That's probably the reason why I said that. But yeah, no, like. So yeah, I've lip, but then to be fair, I've lips girls that I probably didn't don't like. like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was going to say this. Like, yeah, but not you for the- definitely lips yeah, girls you don't like. Do you know what though? Yeah. Okay, there's a difference. Why did you lips them? Because- it's for my own pleasure that I was trying to get. Right, okay. Whereas it's not, I wasn't doing it because I was trying to impress my Don. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> do you enjoy lip -sync? Huh? Do you enjoy lip -sync? Yes, I do. I am an absolute, listen, let me tell you something, yeah. I'm an absolute lipsers. Kind of me. Yeah. Say, oh, it's gang. Horrible. Do, ain't it's it horrible gang. when they get it wrong though? Yeah, it's the worst. Oh. It's the worst. Oh yeah, no, no. It but is the worst. It's, it's like the that. biggest turn off. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> There's times where I've hard to tell hold the girl's face, like, whoa, like, whoa. like Babe, trying to beat man up. Time. And then you try and like coach them without <laughs> saying anything. Bit, yeah. 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 Give me a little bit more work. tongue or push that back in a little bit. Open your mouth a little bit, babe. <laughs> oh yeah, like the closed mouth with the tongue out is horrible. Oh, I'm an absolute lizard. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that that didn't even work out because the Carlton and thing. Anyway, she ended up. I felt bouncing. so bad for her. The way she was so hurt about it. I think she was insulted. I think she felt violated. That's why. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she it felt really, violated. Yeah, I think that. And really it didn't hurt. like she. It didn't need to go that way. No, it didn't. It didn't need to go that way. But he's got a lot to deal with, man. I think. Um, the other one, the other talking thing was the age. Mm. So there was um, like Jessica and Mark, yeah? Yeah. So that was the age difference mm-hmm. couple. So he was 24 and she was 34. Yeah. And like originally she liked Burnett. He was 28. Burnett so was 28. it wasn't an age thing for her. But anyway, carry on. that was her excuse. Yeah, it was an excuse, definitely. Mm. However, 28 sounds different to a decade do you get me yeah i get what you mean yeah so it's like yeah because it's 10 because it's specifically 10 10 years years, 10 just seems like (laughs) it's just bad do you know what i'm saying yeah but like really and truly yeah he's like like burnett's 8 28 and he was 24 but like she was 10 years older than him in it and like she hated him she didn't like this she brother. She hated him. She did not like this She didn't want brother. him in the first place. She wanted Barnett. Do you know what? That's another good talking point of it. Settling. Yes. It actually is not worth it. Talk you know? on that. Like, I know of many... <laughs> <laughs> I know of many women mm. who have married the person who was right for them. This is like, right for them. Mm. instead of marrying the love of their lives. Okay. So the love of their lives is this person who was amazing, they loved them, blah, 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 blah. But ultimately, maybe that person messed up, so they're like, I'm going to go for someone who likes me enough mm. and I know I'll be safe in. Yeah. And that's true. That's, it's, do you know what? It's, that's a dangerous know. game to play, especially yeah. when you like someone else anyway. Yeah. It's a dangerous game to play anyway because then you're, it's almost like that part of that special little thing that you have in a relationship, you don't, you're not giving it to them, but it's there for someone else. Yeah. Whether you're aware of it or not, it's there for someone else. I remember on the podcast, me and the girls were talking, I was like, can you think of one person, if like, even if you were like 68 or whatever, married, got grandkids, and this person knocks on the door and is like, wow, do you want to try? And I was like, yeah, I can't lie. Serious? If I don't marry that person, if this person knocks and I'm at 72, yeah, you're just going to be, I'll be like, you know what? available. If I've got 10 more years in life, let me be happy. <laughs> <laughs> let me be the love of my life. Yeah, it's 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 a mad one. I think because she liked Burnett, but then Burnett, she thought he was a fuckboy. Yeah. Yeah. And that all changed as well. When mm-hmm. she saw my man, because that's another thing I didn't tell you, by the way. When they all, they all go on their holiday and then like, they're all in the same place and they don't know it until oh, yeah, later on. Everyone else, yeah, yeah, and then they all meet everyone yeah. else. So you get to see like some of the people that you're talking to mm. in that. So I feel like when she saw Burnett, she got damp in her panty mm. as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, she didn't really like Mark. And she she was, hated him. You know what, yeah? I don't know who's at fault here at, at, in some of this because... Mark was getting all of the signs that she's not on him. And he was not trying to read this one single he was bit. Bl- Mark was blind. Mark was blind. He just didn't want to hear it. Yeah, it's like the more that she was telling him, ah, oh, you know what, like the age thing or like even his own family, like people were letting mm. him know, are you sure you want to do this? She and he, was, was, he was besotted with her. Like, he really, really, like, he, it's so sad to watch. It is so, so sad to watch. And sometimes I was watching it and I was flipping the scripts like, well, have I ever been in a place where a guy is showing me I'm not on you and I was still there? Can I, do you know what is, I thought was quite interesting though? Is that like, I, f- I felt like this was probably the most that I'd seen men vulnerable and emotional on a TV program like that okay. before, you know? That's like the most I've ever seen it for oh, me. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like I saw a lot of, in the beginning, a lot of the crime was coming from them. Especially when it came from like, like in the beginning, they don't, some of them don't know who they're going to choose and that. And then they, a couple of them ready to start crime, which is cool. Yeah. Concern yeah, yeah. emotion. Then it was um, like, uh, you know, cr- tears of joy. Yeah. I've met someone and like tears of joy and that, which was cool. 
And then it was like, just, there was a lot of it. And I thought that was quite interesting. With Mark, yeah, she, um, Jessica even got drunk. She had a drinking problem. Can we talk about that? Oh she was a, God. she had a drinking, she was an alcoholic. No, she wasn't. She was just unhappy. <laughs> If she was with Barnett, she would she was, not have been drinking that much. You think so? I promise you, Jackie. She would not have been drinking that much. <laughs> she was drinking to get her through having to be next to this guy. When she said to him, when she That's was strange. drunk in bed, and she was like, well, yeah, I find Barnett very sexy. Imagine the, your fiancé in bed telling you she finds next another man, man sexy. very sexy. And he just went and slept on the couch. Fam, I would have been out of the yard. You're telling me... Yeah. Do you know what? I don't ever have a problem with a girl telling me or like my girlfriend or whatever observing or like in a conversation but, saying someone's good looking yeah, yeah okay. but you see when it's someone that you used to chat to yeah and now you're telling me oh, that they're yeah, sexy yeah, yeah. and you're that's drunk different. in bed so that's that's a different thing it's no, not just a that. random chat you're in bed you're drunk was like well i find barnet very sexy all of that that whole dynamic was mad because you know what yeah whilst he's drunk like that usually if a girl's proper into you in that especially when she's thinking about sexy, she's thinking about, I need you to yeah. come here and start doing- and that's not what she was on. No, she was like, you know what? I'm here with you. I find someone else sexy. I'm not having sex with you right now. I'm just not in it. But if Burnett was here- What I does that do to a man's ego? What? Oh my Being God. Being told that your woman finds someone else very sexy. In that scenario of like, she's in bed and she's drunk. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I've in never that been specific in specific scenario, yeah. I'd be cry Like, my ego couldn't take it. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm out really? of there. I'm like, gone. Done. done. Really? I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Do you know why? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll explain to you why it's done. I feel like I know myself a lot, yeah. And, like, I've been in relationships or situations, albeit they haven't worked out, but I've been in somewhere, like, I felt so secure and so happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, I know what it feels like. But I also know what it feels like to feel insecure about a previous situation. Right. So when I start feeling it and I start feeling that coming again, I'll address it. Mm. And if it doesn't change, I have to go. Because you know what? The reason why I have to go is not only am I unhappy deep down, yeah. but you're just going to be unhappy. And I can't even, if I can't even make you happy or there's an issue there, then that's going to make me feel more insecure because I'm going to be thinking to myself, my man could be here and making you happy. And that's just gonna piss me off. Yeah. So do you know what? Instead of us get, see when you said before earlier, we was like, I'd rather not sleep with certain people yeah, that yeah. I don't like or whatever, because I know I'm gonna move mad. That's my thing. Right, okay. When I start feeling insecure, I'm gonna leave because I'm gonna end up being the guy that I don't even wanna, that is not me. Or it is deep down maybe in me, but I just don't wanna be that guy. And I don't want anyone to ever turn around and say, rah, like, I was in a situation with like government name, but just say Chucks mm. and like, he was mad. My man was like, he was getting moved mad. Yeah, he was moving crit. Like, oh, what you you're chatting to him? You're chatting to it, boy. Do you think in it? But he's like, he's a bit mad. No one can ever <laughs> say that about me ever. So for me, that that was the straw. I would have the game. I'm out of the game. I'm the things done. <laughs> yeah. Chat to the producer. Yeah. I'll sign off the documents or whatever it is. Send yeah, me my yeah, piece. Yeah, I'm yeah, gone. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Because you know what? We never talk about men being insecure in relationships. Women get it all the time, like in heterosexual heterosexual relationships. Women get it all the time. So have you got male insecure. friends? Yes. Have you ever spoken? Have you ever spoken to them privately? You know what? I've it? never asked them about if they've been insecure. Like we've had jokes, and it would be like they will say, "No, she got with someone that was richer than me." It's always like, uh, if the guy was richer than me, it would bother me. Okay. That it's wouldn't never been like that. Wouldn't bother me. Yeah, oh really? Me nah, the, that wouldn't bother me. That's been the, like, he's my like, closest male friend. That's his number one thing. If she got someone that was a lot richer than him, that would really bother him. Would it bother me? I don't know if that would bother no, Wait, if would... his girl was richer than him? No, no, if his girl got with another guy that was a lot richer than him. Oh, fuck. No, I don't give a shit about that. Really? Yeah, so you broke up with a girl, you still like her. Yeah. But you're not together or whatever. Yeah. Her next guy is a lot richer than you are. You're not bothered. Nah. No, okay, care. that's good. Nah, what would bother but, you? Nah, what would make me insecure though is... I don't know, actually. I don't know what would make, but there's like certain situations within a relationship that could make me insecure. What can a girl do to make you insecure? Um, if she said, let's say like, was having a, <laughs> okay. If we was having a conversation. Yeah. And, like, and then like, she made a few remarks about like how, good in bed her ex was oh right. no yeah yeah yeah, yeah then no, that's no, gonna no, not no, i'm no, just no. not even gonna love that 
No. Do you know what as well? <laughs> I'll tell you what would probably actually make me not, insecure. No way. Do you know what would probably make me insecure as well, actually? Because this is a big thing for me, yeah? Go on. Um, like, I have to make a girl orgasm, yeah? So if I'm in a relationship and I can't make her orgasm, oh, I'm they're gone. They're high I'm out. Hundreds. I'm gone. Yeah, I'm out yeah, of yeah. Here. If I can't You'd do that. You'd be surprised how many yes. girls are faking it, but yeah. yeah. Well, you say that, but I, I, know, I, what, know, I, I know, know what a real one looks like. <laughs> I'll tell you that now. <laughs> but, <that's, laughs> but if I couldn't, if I couldn't, then I, w- yeah. I, I don't think I could be in a relationship. I agree. I'm with you on that. Fully. Especially if I knew that her last one was giving her Or oh, even more so, what? I've got to be gone. No, no, no. Rage! <laughs> Seriously. But I don't know, like, I don't know. Like, there's loads of things that probably could make me insecure. But at the same time, yeah, there's loads of things that could just nip that in the bud. And sometimes those are just conversations, isn't it? Conversations okay. could make me, like, think, oh, yeah, I hear you. And that's it. Right now, you have to say it out loud. Think in your head, yeah. Is there a guy... Yeah. That if your girl was talking to or had absolutely, talking, you've all got a guy in your head. Yes. What that like? If she was chatting to him, I'd be yeah, pissed. Yeah, that you'd be pissed. Definitely. You got, <laughs> <laughs> you got one, Callum. Yeah, I'd be pissed. Not real. No. Oh, that's scared. Live a little bit more, bro. I mean, I'm. Will come. I'm just very confident when I'm in a, in a relationship like that. Oh, okay. Oh, so I, am I. I don't allow myself to be in that relationship unless I'm. As oh wait, are we talking about possible. in a relationship? No, like you're talking to a girl, whatever. You know, she's talking to another guy, or she knows she's been talking to another guy. Is there one guy that's? It always depends like, what if context this guy I'm comes speaking up, to. This girl, you like it in my head. If I like, yeah, her, yeah, yeah. But you know of this other guy. Is there one guy I'm that you can think of? I'm gonna keep it so funky. Yeah, with yeah. You. If, I'm, if I'm talking to a girl, yeah, and then like say I'm there first talking to her, yeah, and then she meets someone else and yeah. is talking to that guy, and yeah, she, and. She's being honest that she's enjoying yeah. the time speaking to him and that. Gone. Yeah, I'm probably going to clock gone. out. Gone. Yeah. I'm not hanging around for, for me to... For, nah, gone. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not here to try and Do you know why that anymore. is? It's because if I'm talking to a girl that I proper like, if I proper like you, more time, I'm like, you're actually the only girl in the room. That's why that we moment. have to lie. That's why I have to, you have to stay lying. Of course. And, say and if that's the case, I've let her know that she's the only one as well. I haven't necessarily like sometimes I'm it's just obvious like myself. if I'm speaking to you all day and we're texting all day okay. and we're just, I'm doing all that I, married I hear men, it I hear married it. men with five kids at home all the time are cheating <laughs> so it's possible it is absolutely possible I'm not possible. saying it's not possible I'm just saying that like I know how I am so if I don't get that same thing if I don't feel like I'm getting that back I'm out of there man yeah, I hear seriously that. I get I'm, I get out of things super quick if the vibe isn't there I'm out of there I'm not hanging mm. around for this to be that guy, mm. fuck that shit, no way. Because I've always thought what makes me insecure is not if the girl's better looking at me, I'm not that bothered by that. It's if I think she's sick, like, oh, she's mad talented, she's, she's well dressed. Yeah, like I actually, I rate her as a person. Yeah. That'll piss me off. Yeah, no, nah, there's like, yeah, there's like one or two, there's like, do you know what it is? It's because when I think about this person as well, yeah, it's just because more time, he just gets everything. <laughs> <laughs> you got a name in mind for this, or is nah, this just? A, I'm not can you name him no. after? Not on record. Oh, so yeah. that means you do have a name in mind. He does have yeah, a name. He's like he has this a name. one. He just gets. It's just everything. You know, like, he just gets everything. <laughs> is it? And it's like, oh, if you're, you're chatting to my man, like, fuck. Would it, I know man. it? Like, like, Would nah, we know him? You don't know. But no, then I'm just him. like, you know what? Fuck it, man. You might as well just. You might as well have her, man. Fuck it. Got everything else in the world, don't you? You might as well. You don't even want it. So fucking greedy, bro. You don't even want it. That's the maddest thing. But um. But yeah, anyway, she's giving him bear signs, all of these type of things. That was their issue. Then there was fucking um, Burnett and Amber. Yeah. So we talked about Burnett before. Yeah. But Amber, how I observed her was she was the she was the girl who was essentially trying to. I feel like she was trying to win a lottery in some way. Yeah, her, her meal ticket. Yeah. Burnett is her meal ticket. Yeah. And the fact that like he came, it was just a big bonus that he came out and she liked him. Yeah. So as soon as she liked him, she did. She pissed on the tree yep. and was kind of on a vibe of, this is mine. Yep. And you know what? If anyone steps anywhere near this, I'll kill it. And she's she says that. Yeah. She's not even like, oh, I really like him. She's like, no, I'll kill any girl that comes I next will to kill him. you. Like, like, that's my man. She told she's Jessica, I attempt will attempt make your life hell. <laughs> I will punch you, you in your face. You and my husband, I will punch you in your face. Yeah. Like, you have to respect it. I do. I can't lie, I do. And I actually thought that was quite attractive in to some degree. However, oh, so you like a little bit of crazy? I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. It just depends on how you, you know what I mean? But that was good. I liked like it because it was like, you know what? I know what you're on a bit. Right. Like okay. she was kind of on that. Like I know what you're on 
And I'm just letting you know that this is what it's going to be if yeah. you even try to do that. So I respected that. However, I did get the vibe that she would kill Burnett as well. And he can't leave her. Yeah, no, he's, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 he can't leave her. She was 20 bags in debt. She was homeless as well didn't at have one a job. point. She didn't have a job. She maxed out her credit card yeah. and her credit was dead. Yeah. And she was like, she just did a little bit of makeup. Like, she just did some makeup thing. And when I saw that, yeah, I thought, she's disrespecting makeup eyes. She's not even a makeup artist. She just has a seven hundred seven hundred credit card seven hundred dollars credit card for her makeup to buy makeup. Yeah, because she didn't. She say that she was trying to set up or start a makeup artist. I don't. I think she was just for her. Oh my god! Well, if that's the case, then like she's just a ridiculous person with money. <laughs> it's no. It's and I think it's important to talk about. Okay, so I was asking. Well, girls are talking about this, right? Okay, how early are you asking a girl you're dating if she's in debt or not? I've actually debt. never asked that question before. She's you know? in debt or not? You never asked it? No. Nah. But the great thing, one of my, my best friends, when he was like, when he was, he's with a guy, he's, he's been with her for a long time. Yeah. But I remember him saying to me that like, when they were planning on like, living together and stuff like that, he, he yeah. checked all yeah. of that and then helped her build all her credit back up and stuff, which I thought was sick. If she yeah. owes a lot of money, you can in a relationship? Yeah. Well, she's 20 bags in debt. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's calm. Yeah. That's not a problem for me. Oh, really? Yeah. If she's bad with money, then... It's it's better I know this from early, to be fair. And I, I, that might be a contradiction to me because I've actually never really asked that question about their debt. Yeah. But if they're bad with money, and I know this from the get-go, at least I know how to manoeuvre in that situation. Yeah. So, like, I know that maybe I can't give you a whole bunch of money to do something with because you might spend it or you yeah, might yeah, do something yeah. or whatever it is. So I'll just, I'll make, I'll just manoeuvre around things differently but I'll still be open and honest my credit's lit by the way now so I just want to throw that out there but but yeah um, <laughs> just throwing that out there yeah bro I worked Making hard to get that shit yeah, listen I, it, what, I, it took me ages to build that back up because I but, don't know if I could date someone I was 20 and that was stupid debt really it was irresponsible why why are you, you so can earn money, money back what's the big deal huh you can earn money to pay that off what's the big deal maybe it's because I was like bought up it's not your debt either no, I know, but if we're going to do life together... Yeah. Ultimately... Underst- yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, like, if we're dating, cool, but if it's someone that we're going to move in together, suddenly we're trying to get mortgage and it's so much harder so because... It, so for you, if it gets to the point where you're looking at moving in together and then you discover he's a 20 but grand in debt... But then that's too late then, isn't it? Because you it love It is them. too late. So when do you answer questions? Because of that, that's dead. Yeah, exactly. So when do you really answer questions? I don't know yet. <laughs> like, ultimately... And, and if you uh, ask early on and they're heavily in debt it doesn't affect you anyway so what's the big deal yeah so really it doesn't, it doesn't, matter. It doesn't go that long term yeah I it hear does that matter still, but it does it like it does matter it, it, set, i think it, it matters to know but it's not a like a like our oh, call cool, we're done then it depends again it's context in it it depends on, like why are you in debt let's say you just got bare ccjs like on a thing of you know you hire you got a car you couldn't afford the car the car yeah. gets taken off you you had a yard the yard got taken off you and like you just had a few things and they all got taken off you then that's alarm bells for me because I mean I don't know because you're irresponsible can... huh? you're irresponsible if that's happened to you consistently mm. have you ever been with some have you ever dated someone that was broke yeah how did that feel awful why <laughs> I could tell that was going to be the answer you fucking hate why? It. can you see the pain in my yeah. face why do um, you think know, it was like yeah my just broke can I because I had to do stuff <laughs> Oh, my oh God. for fuck's sake. Toxic femininity. Yes. I had to do Please. stuff. Say it no, again. Like, listen, Toxic like, femininity. No, not even just stuff as in like pay for dates and stuff, but like. I had to do stuff. I had to. You <laughs> had to pay for shit. Oh. I had Ew. to help him. Yeah. And? Yeah, what do you mean and? Where's the benefit for it now? Huh? Where's the benefit for it now? Oh yeah, I hear that. Still. Not but, with him anymore. But that's not that's not necessarily. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, but that's no. Different. Wait, wait. That's not, that's not because. And now he's doing good. Yeah. Have I seen a penny? Yeah, but me? he's not living good. Because it's not because of you. it's not because. No, it's not because of me. But shit, pay me back then. I hear that still. But <laughs> if it was, if he broke up with you because he then got lit, like say he hit the belly and then he just left you, <laughs> oh, that's pe- then then that's yeah, taking the piss, isn't it? Mm-mm, but mm-mm. if it just didn't work out, then like, listen. Oh well. You know what I mean? What do they say? Charge behind it to the, the game, it's cool. I'll charge it to yeah, the game, it's to cool. Game. Yeah. But I wouldn't do and it behind again. Behind every man's supposed to be a good, strong woman anyway. Yeah, cool. Or human Yeah, being. cool. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> Listen, I need support. I'm going to need some support. But I'm all right. But does that fair, need to be but... financial support? No, no, no. It doesn't need to be financial. It might have to be at some point. 
Yeah, but not all the time. No. Nah. Yeah, exactly. How long were you? Occasionally, it might be a thing of ten years. Occasionally, it might be a thing That's of the like, whole time, bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we were fourteen. When we first started, of course he was broke. Of course he was broke then. But then you he, can excuse him being broke from until like fucking eighteen, I guess. Yeah, but then I got a job at fifteen. Why didn't he? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. So that that was pretty much their talking point. But I also felt as well that she like her way of trying to keep him. It seemed as though was just to throw pussy at him. I felt like their thing was. For her, uh, yeah, way yeah, more yeah, yeah, physical yeah, yeah. He, yeah. than emotional. Yeah. It was like, oh yeah, shit, actually, this is a meal ticket. You're actually nice as well. Yeah. And I know other girls are gonna like you, especially Jessica. Yeah. So you know what? I'm gonna give you bare pooch. Mm. And you're gonna love you're gonna love this pooch and you're not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I felt like he got clouded in that a little he bit. He did. And also not even just the like sex bit, he was having a lot of fun with her. Yeah, yeah. But do you know I mean he enjoyed being around her, it was fun. I don't know how long they will last. She was doing that thing where when everyone else was around, she was just trying to hold his hand bare time. Yeah, and yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiss yeah. up his face. Because she knows other people want him. She wasn't having it. I don't know how they will last when shit gets real because eventually it's life. Shit is going to get real at one point. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen then. That's true. I, I would be surprised if they worked out. Um, the other one was the interracial relationship, which mm. was Lauren and Cameron. Cameron, yeah. Yeah. And that I was good. Them. Yeah, that I'm was so, good. I cried at the wedding. Did you? I don't know why. T- I was just so happy for her. Yeah, so did I. I thought. Did you cry? I didn't cry. Oh. No, but like it felt like she needed her dad's approval. She needed that, and then once she got it, she was like, "You know what? Okay, cool." Yeah, and I think a big thing for her was she is a black woman. That's very. I'm very happy to be black. That like she like talks about her blackness and is proud of her blackness. So I think she was battling what that would mean if she was with a white person. Yeah. And I think that was bad. that was a lot for her. Yeah, she. What did she say? How did she say it? She said something like it was almost like a a light bulb moment for her where she was like, you know, I can still be this. Yeah, I can be in that relationship yeah, but, yeah, yeah. And, and still be this. Yeah, and I think that's what it was. I think she was really questioning how she can still be pro black and not be with a black man. Yeah, which I I feel can happen. I just think that like he needs to be a certain type of person, isn't it? And like. We didn't see them have those type of conversations so much. We saw them have conversations about like the interrelationship yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff and whether like interracial relationships, sorry, and like whether the parents were going to accept them, whatever it may mm. be. Yeah, but like naturally, we didn't see the the deeper conversations the, yeah, that they yeah, would yeah. have because naturally, you would I would think that you would have to have those conversations to know where your head is at, like yeah. to know like what's your thoughts on these type of things and like. What are your unconscious biases and when do you understand things, your yeah. privilege and like mm. all of these different different type of things? Because if you don't have them conversations, then later on, next minute, he's going to start coming out like, oh, I don't like, you know, these crazy things about black women that he thinks is OK to yeah. say because he's not this. He's like, it's OK to say this because we all know that they're like that. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And, do you get There's me? a really cute video of them on the Internet. And it's like Lauren is on like her Instagram or whatever, like filming. And this this white woman is like, can I touch her hair? Like, oh, it's so cute. I want to eat it. Like, just like being stupid. And you just see Cameron like come from behind. It's like, don't touch her hair. And I was like, (laughs) white king. (laughs) 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 Like, I was just so, yeah, I'm, I'm really. And I think also she... Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm thinking too deep into it. I think it was new for her to be loved that intensely. Yeah, he was on her. Like, and I think it was like, wow, like this is this is weird. And if you're not used to that, you're thinking, oh, leave me alone, man. Yeah, yeah. Because he was constantly just like everywhere she was walking, he was hugging her, he just, get his arm he round. He was like her. looking at her. He was infatuated. Yeah, by he her. was really, really into her, and I think that was new for her. Yeah. And her dad was asking him good questions. Yeah, yeah, of course. I was like, yeah, damn right. Of course, that's like enough. I feel like, well. I say that again, maybe it's privileged because not everyone has their dad around it for them like that. But but yeah, he was good. I felt, felt like the dad was good. And like, you could see that they, I would have been surprised if they didn't get married. I thought that maybe. If she said no, I'd have been, do you know who surprised me? Kenny and Kelly. Yeah, so did I. But she was really out of order for that. At first, Kenny and Kenny, by the way, like, no they one. Dead. They were dead. They were shit. No dead. one really cared dead. Dead. until dead. the end. Yeah, yeah, It dead. was like, oh shit, they, she didn't even get married. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, she yeah. said dead. no. Apparently, I was, this is how into it I was. I've been reading, like, up about it, like, yeah. forums and stuff. And apparently, they didn't make it to. <laughs> I love Your it so thing. much. They didn't make it to the actual Mexico bit. 
The only reason why they brought them back was because um, of Charlton and Diamond didn't work. Oh, really? And they only did a set amount of couples, yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. They are very dead. They're yeah, they very were boring. Shit. She yeah. wasn't giving him no pooch as well, so that was obviously the thing. And he was getting pissed because everyone was talking about, yeah, yeah like getting, yeah, getting yeah, that yeah. intimate bond, that, that bonding with their partner and mm. shit. And he was just standing there chewing his gum. So he wasn't getting none. But um, yeah, they Can were Can I ask shit. a question about that? Go so on. when the boys got together, the men that all next moment, they were like talking about if they had sex with someone or not. The girls were very open about it. They were like, yeah, it was amazing, best sex, whatever. Do you guys talk about that when it's your missus? Mm, not really, no, you know. No, it's my missus. Like my bridging now, like, quite nah, see like my good friends now, yeah, they don't, we don't talk about sex like how we used to. Like before, when we when they weren't in like long relationships or whatever, um, it might be like, yeah, you, last night was a... Yeah, 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 yeah. You get what I'm saying? And then like, maybe in the beginning, maybe in the beginning, but not in a disrespectful way. Like, so for example, it might be like, oh, we're talking or whatever and he'll be telling me how much he likes the girl or whatever yeah. and what they've done or whatnot. And then it's kind of like, oh, what have you... Mm. You know what I mean? And he might be like, yeah, bro, like, kind of you know what I mean it was for not but then I won't say to him right what did you turn on the what did you flip <laughs> yeah, like, we yeah. just won't do that ask yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah but okay. but there are certain times where like some conversations come up where like one of my friends I hope you don't mind me saying this but he was saying that like um he really like him and his missus they've been together for a long time and they wanted to have a baby together yeah, yeah? and so now you can you can check what's the the ovulation yeah 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 thing so you can it's check ovulating. when a, yeah. yeah so he was like boom sometimes you come in and say yeah boom I'm, I'm ovulating and he'd be like yeah, yeah come bam let's just flip it on <laughs> let's do it. Yeah. yeah and then you know what I'm saying yeah and then they actually had one so it worked out for them still but other than that it's not like a raw what did you spit on it did you, like we don't right, do that okay yeah we don't do do you, do you do that yeah for relationships yeah Nah, that's... I'll be honest with you. Yeah, like I've got friends that are married, and I know what they're doing to their husband in bed. That's mental. Whoa, that's wild. I'll be honest, we do. In what? What? Like in what context? Like in detail. Like you never like last night, my yeah. husband absolutely yeah. blew my back out. Like literally, like yeah, like literally. That's last... mad. Like I, I have, yeah. Serious? What are you talking about? Nah, co-host relationship. No, you idiot. <laughs> 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 no, like I have a lot of friends that are married, like and in like long term relationships, and I know a lot of their sex lives. Wow, well, that's a, yeah, I that's a, I didn't know that because there's nah, an episode, right that, there's episode in Friends that talks about it when like um Rachel, sorry, did anyone watch Friends? You're not yes. interested. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. So when he was Rachel with again, Ross. Chand- Ross. When she was said, Ross, she asks Ross, what's his fantasy? And he says something about like the girl from one from oh, Star Wars. Oh, yeah. So she yeah, wants to go yeah, tell yeah, her yeah, friends. Princess and he's Leia. like, yeah. And he was like, men oh, don't yeah, do that. Shit. shit, yeah, we don't, yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, Not know. in a relationship, but when we're single. Uh, well, I can speak for myself. When I'm single, yeah. Do you know why details. that is as well? It's because like my f- close friends, girlfriends, are like family to me now. So I guess it feels yes. weird. Like it feel you can't weird. hear them talk about sex, can you? My close guy friend wants to physically vomit when I talk about anything about me doing anything. No, I don't. See, I can, I hear, my, I can hear people outside of those. Like, I've got good friends that are girls. Yeah. And they'll tell me bad things about, like, I hear <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be you'd be surprised. And that's how they talk to their girls. Shit, bro. Yeah, exactly. Like, we know, I know detail. And but then you still see the guy looking dead. Are you alright, mate? How are you? Yeah, and yeah, I just know exactly how he likes it in bed. Yeah, shit. <laughs> that's not. Yeah, it's not that's that bad, but like it's just. Oh man. But anyway, them like what was it? Lauren and Finn got married. Bennett and 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 Amber got married, which I was surprised. I thought he was gonna dash her. I thought it was the family didn't like well. her. She snorted a lot as well. <laughs> Every time she's laughing, this fucking girl snorting. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> she's laughing every minute <laughs> and like, I'm scared to laugh in case I because I do as well <laughs> yeah but the occasional oh, one's not nose. too bad yeah but she's all around the family and there's about seven of them <laughs> trying to really breathe in my mouth yeah. right now <laughs> that's embarrassing you know I'm so that's conscious in ba- of laughing <laughs> yeah. so conscious I've ever been like in a situation where they, like someone does something that could be seen as embarrassing and like you have them around your friends and you're scared that they're going to do it <laughs> It's the worst. If you ever date someone, a guy that's not well dressed, and you're like, shit, you can't tell him to meet you at the venue because you just don't know what he's going to wear. Like, you're just, yeah. you're oh, stressing Jesus. out because if this guy turns up in some Looking mad outfit, shit. what can you do? Yeah. So you have to go to his house and be like, oh, yeah, don't wear that. No, cool. And then you go together. 
Yeah, it's mad. I, I was one time with a girl who like, Go on. Go on. I was yeah. one time with a girl who like laughed really loud. <laughs> no, no, like the first, you know, like the first bit. So the first, like, you know, when you start I'm laughing, laughing no, 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 no. <laughs> this was different. So like the first laugh, the first part of the laugh was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give, so us a, was like, give us a real laugh. No, I can't do it. Please. But it was like, it was a bit, Im- it felt like at times like, oh, right, this is a bit, it feels embarrassing a bit. Because right. even, even in moments where you're like, Okay, you're having you're having a quiet conversation like this, <laughs> and then you say something that makes see see how you're laughing like that because we have like you get what I'm saying. The laugh would still be the same. And it would, like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, but that other than that, is. I wouldn't say that I've been in like. Does um, dress sense affect you guys or girls? Yeah, sometimes I can't lie. Like some, sh- you know, like when I don't know, I shouldn't say that. Say it. See, like now. But like sometimes. Yeah. If like say a girl's with like, if she's got like shit Air Maxes, because that seems to be the what's co- this shit Air Max? What? No, nah, because that seems to be the common one, like the the um the Air Force One. Yeah. You know, like the battered one, really like bad. the festival. Right, like okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's like it, at a festival, then it's calm. <laughs> <laughs> but in her real life. But yeah, in every day, it's like it's all right, like it's fine, but it's like yeah. Can you? Is there a fresh pair in the staff somewhere? <laughs> If there Sometimes is, then it's come. <laughs> but um, but yeah, other than that, no. Nah, I'm, and I'm trainers right. are expensive. I got a discount, so if you need it, then you can. Uh, I can sort I you don't, out. I don't pay for trainers anymore. Charles. Yeah, exactly. So you're right. <laughs> <laughs> they entirely. I didn't. When I had to pay, I didn't wear trainers. Oh, okay. They're so expensive. Yeah, they are. Also, how do people afford tracksuits? Oh, they're peas. Yeah, I don't wear no, them. No, honestly, how do people things, afford tracksuits? It's insane how anymore. expensive they are. But yeah, now nah, dress sense is not too. I I can't, I can't say I've been in a relationship or in a situation with someone who dresses mad. To be fair, like even if it's, you know, certain things are run down. It's not. That's not a big issue. Is there something you hate that when women wear? Not is that it, it's up to you, but is there something that I hate? Yeah, when women wear it. Um. Nah, there is. I don't know. Okay. I it only pisses me off when it becomes impractical. Like when she insists on wearing like shoes that are hella uncomfortable and she knows they're uncomfortable right, okay. but she wears them anyway and then she complains <laughs> the whole fucking night <laughs> wear something this comfortable very personal, please. yes it is okay okay, yeah. okay cool. that's no, the only I time it annoys me okay. other than that i don't give a shit yeah i wouldn't say that there's anything that proper annoys me like that though i don't think because i used to date a guy that hated um dolly shoes like do you know really flat dolly shoes yeah, yeah. he hated them I oh i didn't like i didn't dolly like uggs shoes. You know I what? didn't like Uggs. I hated that wave. Uggs, yeah, that was yeah. a weird time, wasn't and it? And Don's was wearing them as well. Yeah, then we'd wear and men shorts was wearing and them. tights oh, and then... Oh, God. yeah, yeah I know what she's doing. Oh, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Dolly shoes, yeah. I see men out there shuffling in Uggs. But warm, didn't it? Makes men in going to it. house warm. Man wasn't going to house raves shuffling in Uggs. Do you remember that era, by the way, where people were shuffling? Oh, How shit do they look now? Worse. How shit do some of them look now? They worse. used to be like, no disrespect to this brother, but I remember this Don used to go viral every time. It was like some ginger Don that would be outside a house and he would just like get out and he would just start shuffling. And like, that used to be cool. But you look at it now and you're like, bro, But then look there at is you. all of the best hair now, all of the... Oh just, yeah. Just as, just as active. Um, last one quickly, flipping um, Gianna and, and Damien. Yes. Like, I don't know what to say about them, to be fair. All I know is is that Gianna was very theatrical. She's like. an actress and no one can tell me she's not. And then she told she told my man that, like, that he, what was it? Um, oh, oh. You told oh, me that yeah. I'm good in bed. Have you ever wondered why I never tell you that you no, are? No, no, she said, you know how you <laughs> say me. that um, it's the best sex you've ever had? Have you realised that I've never returned the compliment? That is rage. <laughs> is that what she said? That's rage. <laughs> but that's rage. Have you noticed that I've like never returned the compliment? I love these energy. Hold on, but how that. else would you break it to the guy? To be fair, no, they were they. Actually, no, she was a bit unhappy you just about something. Break it. So they that came up because of that came up in an argument. In an it argument. wasn't just a random thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah, wasn't constructed. Just, no, they it were having an argument. Yeah, it. yeah. Oh, fuck. But well, he she like, also very much meant it. He yes. He took I, it well. He took it very well. Did he? He took it very by the way, did you notice his watches? No, he had no He was watches. big banking, you know. 
Really? Listen, every episode, different Rolex and AP. Oh. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what's this done on? I've been broke for too long because that should be something I've noticed. I noticed that. I noticed that immediately. At first I thought, right, is that, is that AP? Then I saw the Rolex and I saw the next Rolex. I don't know what I saw bare Rolex and all. I was like, neither do I. I don't know about the skelly on skelly. I don't know anything about All these watches. things that man start talking, calling them these days. But yeah, anyway, shout out to them, man. But um, but she's yeah. an actress though. Like it was insane. Even when she, when he said no, and she like ran away, <laughs> like she was some bloody Maury Povich or whatever that show is called. Oh yeah, yeah. And then she's ripping part of the wedding dress and gives it to him. I'm like, babes, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I know. I think it's good he said no though. What is that ripping? Is that a thing? No. It's just her. I remember it's an Italian thing. I don't know, but like I've never seen it before in my life. Wait, if ripping, ripping the wedding, she rips the wedding dress and like gave him a half of it, a bit of it. Can you Google that? Google I don't it think and that's, see if a, that's thing. a thing. But I that doesn't seem like a, a thing, I've but... never heard of that before. Because I know, like, I guess it's like when Khalees left Nas and she left her, she packed everything else but her wedding dress. Did she? Mm. I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's why. Do you know the front cover where he's got the green dress over him? That's her wedding dress. Serious? Yeah. I didn't know that. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, that's mad. Has Everything. he still got that? Has he still got that? I wonder if he has, because they're not good at all. Man. I know. Like, I know. They're, like, they're, like, bad, bad. Yeah, I know. She, yeah. Because she accused him of, like, abuse and stuff. And yeah, he, yeah, yeah, Him the same as well, I think. Yeah, he did. And, like, he's not, apparently, can't see his you. And, like, she's saying that he doesn't want to see the you. And he's saying that he wants to see, like, I don't know. All those things get super messy in it. But shout out to them. As far as I can see, it's not a thing. It's not it's a thing. It's not a thing. I think oh, she's okay. just being dramatic. But, yeah, anyway... Like this show apparently is coming to England, yeah, and it'll be. It's like, oh god! All I'm saying is the shit. The shit TV is never gonna be the same again. Okay, and if this comes back, go on. about it, right? So I've seen people tweet that like, well, they picked conventionally attractive people, so of course it was gonna be fine. If let's say they're not, they're not. But I don't think they are. I don't think they're conventionally attractive. I was uh, attractive is the wrong word. Go on. They are not commercially ugly. Do you understand what I mean by that? No one there you could call ugly. Yeah, yeah. there was yeah. no one there that yeah. you would say, rah, this isn't like an absolute mad." Yeah, 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 yeah. Like they they were all people where like, if you was in a pod and you were speaking to them for however long that they were speaking to, those type of people could probably like that person. Yeah. And someone was saying there was no one that was big on it. Oh yeah, there wasn't. Would that make a difference? Because...